it sounds like from what you've been explaining in your experience, it's not just uh, a commercial for you. It's not just a mm-hmm. film like you you want to communicate something. Mm-hmm. Um, in an ideal world, what kind of what kind of projects are you wanting to be working on long term mm-hmm. and consistently? through your career um yeah those films that that create that have just in this interdisciplinary kind of like aspect to them where where it's not just it yeah it might be just entertainment but there's like layers to it and i like that i like i like being able to revisit a film and um being like okay i'm gonna see it through this lens now it's like oh wow i'm gonna see it through this lens it's like oh crap i didn't realize that so is those films i feel like are ma- like masterly crafted or even if they just deal with maybe maybe just one political thing but mm-hmm. but it hits really hard I'm just like that's that's the films that I want to be part of. I want to be I, I um I'm sure there's there's I'm sure people love entertain like or there's films for entertainment and that's fine but for me like it's not the ones that sink sink in or or um I don't know I rather I rather have a film that really means a lot to me but nobody watches um be in Maine uh, rather than than the film that just feels like foo foo and is like uh like it just feels like like uh like candy or something I don't know like there's no nutritional <laughs> value to it. <laughs> And so, um, uh, not a not a three Michelin star type of yeah yeah no no three Michelin star or nothing yeah, it's, uh, yeah so it's yeah no it's uh I don't know and, and that might sound snobby but I mean huh. I don't know it's it's like I I, I you know I wanna I do want to make an impact because filmmaking is already a privileged life it, like anybody that's not involved in this they're like you're just you're just working a camera that's what they I, that's what I feel people think about it. it's like you're just pointing the thing and pressing record that's it that's your job and i was like well i wish it was that simple i really do wish it was that simple no it takes a lot of planning or at least i i i probably put myself through the rinker more than i should because i want to make a statement i want to make um you know i want to create meaning with an audience and so um and and it's and for me it's through the visual medium mm-hmm. um so yeah yeah i i mean um as a cinematographer how do you feel like you impact that message Mm -hmm. is it just through the choosing the project like saying yes or no to the project or can do you feel like you can help bring a project up to a level that has more meaning Mm -hmm. for me the the film has like the story has to resonate because i mean uh, uh, foremost like it's it's all about story it's a and that's what that's what people are going to care like um even i mean you you think about like the 1920s where everything was radio like they were telling story in a very specific way mm-hmm. where now that we've become more visual, we tell stories in a very specific way through a visual medium. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I, I can't, I, I always have to tell myself like, I can't be self-indulgent and just, just do a cool shot because it's not going to, there's no, there's no weight to it. And, 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 um, uh, and so this is what I like about the podcasts like that, that I listen to is a lot of the very seasoned cinematographers, they, they, they're learning to, or they say they learn to like, strip down like a lot of what they do they go back to simplicity um and because it's all about the story and um and as long as i'm adding to the story because i i i do feel like i am pretty vocal um when 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 there's an idea that's presented on the script i was like oh if we do it this way i feel like we're we're now going into this person's perspective Mm. um i try to put myself in the shoes of the audience it's like how how are we gonna um how as an audience is gonna um um take this in um, and so, um, I don't know. So, so yeah, so I, I mean, I think about the audience, I think about, I think about uh, the story, how they're going to interpret it. Um, and then, and the reason I, I get chosen is because I tell it a specific way or I tell it a specific way through my, like through cinematography. Yeah. Um, and so, cause, um, uh, yeah, I don't know if that makes sense. Okay. No, it does. Okay. Yeah. No, I think that makes <laughs> uh-huh. a lot of sense. And thanks for humoring me. On no, that, no, no, you're good. You're that good. Question: If it, yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this this loosely ties into what we were just talking about, but um, what what is your next big project that you're looking forward to? Mm-hmm. I'm still looking for the next big project. Um, right now, I really like working with Robert because he's a great collaborator. He has a good vision. I learn a lot from him. Um, I feel like he, for me, he's a mentor. Um, um, he's teaching me a lot and I, hopefully I'm teaching him a couple of things too. Um, but as far as project, I don't know, like I, I do have a bunch of scripts that, that have gotten sent to me. And so just reading through them has been, has been a process because like I said, I'm not a re- really good 
reader and I see it as a certain perspective, but I always like to talk to the director just to get their their vision and see what they think. Because yeah. I, I mean, the way that I would read it is not is it's coming from my own perspective, not not maybe how it was intended. But um but that's also good because then I can kind of give my own input. It's like, oh I saw it like this way. What do you think this could work? And hopefully they say yes and or they will say no, but I like I like what well, I like this piece of what you just said. And so it becomes collaborative. Um, so yeah. as long as it's a good collaboration about a good story that I feel like is, is, um, has, doesn't have, a, it doesn't have to have a message. It doesn't have to be a uh, didactic, but, yeah. um, but something, something that will create a strong emotion. Um, I feel like that that's where I do feel fulfilled. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. That conveys something. Mm -hmm. It conveys something. It's you know, if if people hate it, then that's that's fine. At least that's an emotion. If yeah. people and I can learn from that. Yeah. If they love it, that's great. But I think uh, I heard this too. Is like it's the the worst emotion that that could be conveyed is when there's complacency. They're like, yeah, it was all right. They're like it was yeah. it was whatever. And I'm just like, oh, well, <laughs> that's there's that's not real feedback for yeah. by any means. So so it's yeah. either hate it or love it sort of thing. So 